DFUS of Darpanam TV, Surabhilam Media, DTV of Devi Puram. Dear friends, we are moving towards the conclusion of Tiruppavai. So, at this stage, Godamata is directing us towards salvation. So, in that process, she is giving us today one wonderful Pashram. Varutti maganai pirandu uriravil Varutti maganai valittu valara Tarikkila nagittan tingu ninainda Karuttai pirai pirtu kanjan vayittil Nerup Uyenna nindra nedumale unai aruttittu vando parai tarudiyagil teruttakka shalvamum shivagamum yampadi varuttamum tirndu magindu elo embavai they are praising Krishna that he is uh, he does so many magical things in this world he was born to a mother one day varutti maganai pirandu you are born to one mother today and on the same night you became the son of another mother why it is like that why can't you born to only one lady why you did like that that is the magic of Krishna. Varutti maganai pirand ori ravel. In one night itself, Varutti maganai valittu valara. You went and you were grown up there by hiding. So this is one onkaram, that pranavanadam, that is the pranava mantram is devaki. And Narayana Mantram, that is Astakshari Mantram or Gayatri Mantram is our Vishodha. Or you take Devaki as the Gayatri Mantra and Astakshari Mantra is our Vishodha. Like that, both are Mantra Swarupas only. So those both Mantra Swarupinis, Devaki and Vishodha's son is Krishna. What is told in uh, Gayatri Mantra. In Gayatri Mantra also, it was described about only that Narayana who is in the Surya Mandala. Surya Mandala Antarvati Narayana Swarupa. He, that is what our Gayatri Mantra. Of course, in the Astrakshani Mantra, it is completely only Narayana. So, both are the Mantra Swarupinis. Valittu Valara Tarikkila nagittan tingu ninainda. Like that, you were born to two mothers and you were for the one mother who is a Shoda and here could not tolerate the one. Who is that one? That is the Kamsa. Tarikkila nagittan tingu ninainda. Karuttai pishai pittu kanjan vayittil. The one is a Kamsa who is a unable to tolerate you. Neruppu enna ninna nedumale. You are a most lovable one. You have so much love. And you immerse your love, yourself in that love. And you are like a fire in his mind. Neruppu enna. You are like a fire in his mind. So wherever... Krishna was there and when Krishna was around, around means in his thoughts. He could not get rid of the thoughts of Krishna. So always he used to think about it. So every minute, every second he was thinking about Krishna, 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 Krishna. That is why he got salvation. Even though he was such a cruel, such a poppy he was, but still he got Salvation because he spent all his life by thinking about Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. 
What is the meaning of Krishna? Krishna means, Krish means ultimate, endless, infinite. Na means ananda, happiness. The one who gives you infinite happiness is what Krishna. So when someone is rendering his name again and again, he has to get happiness. No, that is what he got. We came to you, we came to request you, we came to pray you. Para tarudiyahil. If you want to, to give that para, you give that to us. If you don't want, that is your wish. Giving or not giving is your wish. But it is our duty to request for the para. So we all came here to request for that. Para tarudiyahil. Tirutakka shalvamum shivagamum yampadi. Then what is our main intention in reaching you is just to praise you. Praise your great qualities which are equivalent to the mother of all the wealth. That is the Shri. So all your qualities are equivalent to the qualities of Shri. That means whatever qualities God is having, the same qualities she is also having. As she is prized as a goddess of wealth, now they are saying that whatever qualities she possesses, all those qualities you also possess. So that is what they are saying. Tiruttakka shelvamum shevagamum yam padi. We came here to praise you. We came here to wish you long life. That Mangalashasanam. Only for that we came here. We don't have any other wish in us. So they are trying to explain for what they came there. This is how one devotee should approach God. He should not think that, okay, by approaching God, I will get this wealth, that wealth and all this. For this all nonsense, we should not approach God. He knows when you surrender yourself to God, when you know that your God is a or knowledgeable in all the things, he knows everything, then doesn't he know about your difficulties? Won't he solve your problems? Definitely he will solve. Definitely he will look after your welfare. So why should you request him again? Oh God, please do this one. Oh God, please do that one. He knows what should be given to you and what should not be given to you. So he knows everything. Takka shelvamum sevagamum yampadi varuttamum tirdu magindu. And by praising you, we also want to be happy. Our happiness is a lies only in praising you, in singing Mangala Shasram for you, in praying for the your welfare, for your well being. Maybe it may be something which is uh, irrelevant in that God who is almighty, what you will wish goodness for him when he is giving the goodness to everyone. Yes, it is possible in the path of devotion. So we all came here. We are approaching you for your welfare. Oh God, please give that goodness. And if you want to give something to us, you give. If you don't want, don't give anything. But we approach you only to pray goodness for you. Parujuar Bangalashasram, that is what they told you today. Jai Sriman Narayan.